Hello, I'm Dr. Teddy Ann Hassapopoulos. I've been involved with teams responsible for excellent marketing for many years. May I assume you've come to this video curious to discover more about the strategic work of creating and sustaining strong brands? To that end, may we begin by engaging in a thought experiment. I'm going to show you an image, and I want you to list the first five things that come to mind for each image. Don't just think the thoughts, write them on a piece of paper. Really write down the first five thoughts, even if it's something like, my Uncle Fred, or yuck, or yesterday. Whatever pops into your head. Got something to write with? Ready? Now, this will go fast, so write fast. Here's the first image. Now the second image. And the last image. Okay, look over your lists. Let's see what kind of associations came up. Circle the associations that are factual impressions, like fast food or soft drink or devices. Now put a box around the associations that you consider image-related. Words like refreshing, easy to use, convenient. Now, star the words that might be associated with an emotion. For example, suppose someone wrote Uncle Fred for McDonald's logo. Because when as a kid, a great outing with Uncle Fred meant an ice cream cone at McDonald's, and remembering this creates warm feelings. Brand images are meant to be vehicles to carry emotions, not just signal recognition. But how does a brand become a carrier of emotional signals? Let's explore this. This video examines what I call the heart of marketing. Strategically created and sustained brand is much like a human heart. When strong, a brand pumps life-giving support to sustain the business represented by the brand. When the brand is weak, it can't support the business and the business becomes vulnerable. To understand how we create a strong, a brand that's strong and vital, we must also understand what a brand actually is, not just as an image or a symbol, but as an essential foundation to a strategically strong business. Here are the top 20 most recognizable brands, according to research by Vistaprint. Consider numbers 12, 14, 19, 15, and 20. Notice they're all vehicle brands. Take a moment to consider how each of these brand logos is sending information that signals that each product is different than the other four. And not because they sell different kinds of products. They all sell vehicles. But I suspect each of us has some impressions that the cars are different in tangible and intangible ways. Ford could manufacture a car that is physically exactly the same as a BMW, but it would still be a Ford, and a Beamer would still be a Beamer. Why? Because Ford would not have the same cachet and the same luxury persona and the same affordable only by a few image that a Beamer has. That's the power of branding. Excellence in branding leverages shared culture-wide impressions about a product or a service to create a favorable equity for the business. And how do marketers bring about this shared culture-wide impression? That is the intentional, strategically delivered, hard work of branding, which is, in my opinion, the very heart of marketing. The four P's of marketing help us examine the major components that are offered to customers in order to create value from a customer's point of view. Product. It comprises all the attributes of the product or service that have been bundled together to create customer value. This includes not only the product and service, but also how it's packaged, its usage instructions, how it's supported via customer service, and any other attribute that involves using the product. Each of these attributes is fine-tuned to the customer's idea of value. We will use the word product to refer to this bundle of attributes for both products and services. Promotion. 
It includes all the activities that induce the customer to purchase a product or service. Advertisement, discount offers, social media activity, public relations activities are all examples of promotion. Price? Price includes not only the dollar price, but also the intangibles that impact the cost of obtaining the product. Shipping and handling costs. Subscriptions to purchasing organizations like Amazon Prime are included in the value equation as price is ascertained. And place? Place is the means through which the product or service can be accessed and purchased by the customer. Consider how complicated this has become in the age of digital purchases. Physical distribution channels are now through online brokers like Amazon, rather than in brick and mortar stores. Amazon is an entry channel for many other places as we purchase from multiple vendors through the Amazon app. This has changed the place value equation for every marketer in both business to business and business to consumer. Each of these P activities need to be symbiotically coordinated to achieve maximum customer value as defined by the customer. They are not done well if designed and executed in silos or from the perspective of the marketer. Competitors can easily outdo such marketing efforts.